the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 71, Joshua 1-2 to The reason Joshua wrote his book. Joshua's leadership started with the encouragement of God and the Israelites and the two spies who went to Canaan reported back in faith to steer hope in entering the promised land. First point, the land God promised to give to Abraham 500 years later was conquered by the Israel nation led by Joshua. God gave Abraham the promise of land and descendants. The promise about descendants was achieved in Exodus chapter 1. The promise about land was established in Joshua chapter 1. As such, God's promise is always fulfilled. Second point, the three reasons Joshua wrote his book. Joshua wrote a book. This is hugely surprising. Joshua was a slave in Egypt until the age of 40. But Joshua was able to learn about a kingdom of priests and to be associated with both the Exodus generation and the Mana generation. As he fought 31 battles for five years to conquer Canaan, he did not let go of the Pentateuch. As such, Joshua wrote his book for three reasons. The first was to state how great Moses was. The second was to boast of his friend Caleb. The third was to state that neither he nor his sons would be king and would remain as a holy citizen in a kingdom of priests. Third point, Joshua, I'm trembling. God told Joshua not to be afraid, but to be strong and courageous. If Joshua was not trembling, then God would not have said such a thing. But Joshua was indeed afraid without Moses as he faced the many battles to come. Fourth point, Canaan was in fear 40 years ago and was still in fear. From Rahab's confession in Jericho, we are able to learn just how badly the ten spies messed up in Kadesh Barnea 40 years ago. Rahab had heard about how God split the Red Sea in order for the Israel nation to leave Egypt and how God had led the way for them ever since. She knew that the surrounding countries feared Israel. She also said that she believed in the Almighty God. The people who were living in Canaan at the time had also heard of all the things God did for Israel and so feared their coming. Fifth point, two people of faith are enough to spy on Canaan. There is a saying that information can determine the victory or loss in war. But in the kingdom of priests, there was something much more important than information or battle techniques. This was that war belongs to God. The ten spies who went to Canaan failed to understand this. But Joshua and Caleb, who were among them, were completely different. Joshua knew then, and Joshua knew during the conquering of Jericho, that war belongs to God. Joshua therefore sent two men only to spy on Canaan once more. They indeed gave reports of faith that instigated courage in everyone. This Tongdok app is amazing. 
When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference, and when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible, and he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tom Dog app.